So I'm going to shape my dough into two balls. I've been quite lazy with this one because I've been busy running my choir. But this is now my very, very floaty, fluffy dough. And it's full of bubbles. And I'm just going to release it onto my pile of floured surface. It's wholemeal and white. It's about 75% white, 25% wholemeal. Now, I always make enough for two loaves. So I'm gonna cut it down the middle like this to make my two pieces. And then I just pop one to the side whilst I shape this little guy. So to start with, I just tuck in both corners and then I simply go round and round, taking from the edge and tucking into the middle as I go. And it gets tighter and tighter and tighter. And I don't stop until I feel like I just can't move it anymore. At which point I turn it over and I pull it towards me and form a ball. You have to push quite hard on the edge and then pull and roll it tight so that you can feel it tightening under your hands. So that's ball number one. And then off I go again with ball number two. I actually have two bannetons. I have a round one and I have a long one, an oval one. But for this purpose, this 20 minute rest, which I leave before I go to shape my final shape and pop them into the bannetons, I just make everything into a ball. So that's nice and tight. And then off I go. So you push down at the side and you roll. You need less flour to get the grip of the dough. And when you feel like you've got enough tightness with your balls, you leave them for 20 minutes. They'll, and then you do the whole process again and you pop them in to your baskets. 